All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Rakakwadash, the ones that the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So I taste all I can put his word with true search and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word Indian calls God and Jehovah, Ba'ashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name, with the word Indian calls Jesus and Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. As always, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird out there, the scattered Israelite corner, the scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage to their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, with the brothers uh, from the Great Millstone Camp out here in Chicago, I'm the brother Tazwar, and I'm the brother Yadaya, and we're back with you another lesson. It's going to be entitled uh, Let My People Go, Part 2. Because hey, we're in the time of the Passover right now, and, and, and uh, our camp, we're reading Exodus over here. And I was reading Exodus yesterday, and in the very beginning chapters, when the Lord told, well, when you speaking to Moses, he told him, Go tell Pharaoh, hey, let my people go. Because hey, that's what's going to happen, man. The Lord has come back to live in his people, man. And we're here in spiritual Egypt. You know, it, it refers to this place as spiritual Egypt, Babylon the Great. And the same thing that happened, uh, that was happening in, in ancient Egypt with our people, the Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we were in heavy, rigorous captivity. And what did the Lord do? He raised up prophets. He raised up Moses and Aaron, and he delivered us. And the same thing is happening now. We're here in Babylon the Great, also known as America. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're at the tail. We're at the tail end of everything. We're getting treated like garbage by all of our oppressions. They're ruling over us. And, hey, the Lord had mercy on us, and he woke us up, and we're crying to him. And when that happens, the Lord comes and delivers. So, hey, can you grab uh, You got something? We're kind of Baruch 3 and 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yes, the nation of Israel was scattered. We're not in our land no more. You know, we are scattered into all these different nations and we're under tribute to them. We're in captive to them. Right? It says, Where thou hast scattered us for a repro reproach and a curse. Exactly. And this is where we're, we're suffering our punishment because we broke the Heavenly Father's commandments. You know, now we're sitting here in all these different places uh, and seeking the Lord ten times more. And hey, we're in the last days. The Lord has come back to deliver us, man. It's no more. It's no more captivity. The, hey, it says in the book of Isaiah, our warfare. Speak comfortably to our. To, it's like it says, speak peacefully to uh, to Israel. Uh, tell her that our warfare is accomplished. Our iniquity is pardoned. Hey, the Lord is coming back for us. It ain't no more long, hard, rigorous slavery years. No more none of that. No, it's the kingdom of heaven. Before, uh, after all this, we'll, you know, it's, it's finna be the kingdom of heaven. You know, after we go through this. Uh, Know, these last few prophecies. Mm -hmm. you know, said, uh, yeah, some more news. They say, uh, it says basically, you know, Esau is the end of the world, man. Jacob is the beginning of it, that following. So, hey, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established, man, whether you like it or not. But it says, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from our from the Lord, our power. Yep, we're subjected to payments getting taxed, man, if our money, hey, it says in the book of, you know, in one of the minor prophets, man, we put our money into uh, a, bag you know, a bag full of holes. Exactly, man. Hey, we oppressed every way here, from our own family, our own loved ones, you know, from the world, from, from the heathen, of course. Hey, this place is absolute hell, but the Lord is hearing us. You know, we got Isaiah 19. Yep, I got it right here. You want me to start at 1? Uh, yeah. This yeah. Isaiah 19 1. It says, the burden of Egypt Behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Yep, the Lord is coming back with his chariots, man. And he's coming to destroy this place, break all the uh, idols, man. You know, and he's coming for that deliverance. Yep. It says, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Hey, the Lord is, is turning these people up. You got all types of uh, neighbor against neighbor action going on. Mm -hmm. You got these different uh, Esau, Edom. You know, they bucking up against one another. Uh, house is divided, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. The Lord is causing that division. All right. Hey, you got Edomites so-called storming to the White House. Hey, hey, at an uh, all-time high of people protesting. These are the, uh, um, these are the, uh, the, the people... These are the same nation, man. Yep. They against each other, man. Yep. And it says, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone <laughs> against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Yep, you got Babylon all totally misscrewed. You know, you got the southern part trying to secede 
from you know the rest of it. Hey, it, it's total division here, man. And hey, you how you gonna hey the strip say two is better than one? How, yep. You know how you gonna be one nation but you divided into? Yeah. You know, hey, how you gonna be split up, man? Come. Hey, y'all wish I was speaking about that, man. Yeah, y'all wish I was speaking about that. He was, he was going into hey Israel, but hey, you can flip that to Esau in them now, man. You know, hey, hey, the kingdom divided against other, it shall not stand. And they're divided against other. You got so-called Democrats, Republic, Republicans, etc., etc., man. You know, in the middle of their own kingdom, man, they warring with themselves, man. It says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Hey, the point being, hey, these people are going to be out of their damn minds, man. And when the Lord comes back, each was going to be through. Hey, you know, I'm going to get that revelation. We're going to revelation of this. The uh, spirituals kind of to touch on the point. But this a revelation. Like Revelation 11 and 8. Yep, 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets, in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yep, this is the place where our Lord was next out. You know, it says it's spirits in Sodom. All the uh Ill, you know, that the, the alphabet boys and all the mo lifestyle that's pushed here. You know, it says uh, in Egypt, man, what happened in Egypt with our people? Uh, we was in break, we was in hardcore bondage, and the same thing is happening here. Our people was led here. Uh, was our, everything was beaten out of our people, man. Mm -hmm. But hey, hey, the Lord, he sent the spirit into us, and they we woken up. And now that we've woken up, we're crying out against these abominations that's being done. Uh, abominations being done here about the atrocities that's being done to our people, about the crimes of the destroyer, man, uh, uh, of, of this man Esau, you know, you know? I got a quick precept. It's uh, Romans 9. Uh, uh, I get to, no, I get to the point. Romans 9 and 17, it says, For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, if, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So the point being, hey, we just talk about how this is spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, man. Hey, and we're talking about Exodus. This is the second delivery, man. Hey, the Lord has did. He raised He saw him up. You know, he got him in power. This, that, and third. Who can make war of the beast? Hey, the Lord is going to come and destroy this modern-day Pharaoh. He's going to show his power in doing so, man. Everybody thinks that the so-called white man can't be taken down. They think no one can mess with him, man. But the Lord is coming back. He's going to show that he's but a man. The Psalms 9 talks about the heathen are but men. They're not God, you know? Um, I got a Jeremiah right quick. Thank you. Uh, it's I, man. You say what? It says more than Isaiah. Oh, kind. Well, I'll go back to Isaiah 19. Man. This is Isaiah chapter 19, and I'll start back at verse 5. Isaiah 19 and 5. It says, And the water shall fail from the sea, and the rivers shall be wasted and dried up. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds of the reeds and flags shall wither. Uh, what 19 say? Verse 19. Yeah, 19 probably about the point. Yeah, the point. This is Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse 19 it says, In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord Yahweh in the midst of of the land of Egypt. Hey, is this talking about physical Egypt? No, it ain't no damn altar over there to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in that land. No, it's talking about uh, the place that we read in Revelation 11, uh, Revelation 11 chapter, uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, man. It's talking about here in Babylon, man. And that altar is the Israelites uh, offering themselves up, man. You know? And uh, can you take a shot? And a pillar at the border of the border thereof to Yahweh. Right. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt 
for they shall cry unto Yahweh because of the oppressors. Right, so the real Israelites would be in the land of, uh, would be in Babylon, which is also known as Egypt, man, and they'd be crying out to the Lord because of the oppressors, man. And what happens when we cry out? The Lord comes and delivers. He comes and saves, man. So that's what's going to get ready and happen. All these prophecies that you've been seeing uh, taking place, it's been, it's been happening because the Lord is getting ready to deliver his people. And Romans, in the book of Romans, it tells you that the whole uh, creation grown up and it waited for the sons of the Most High to manifest themselves. The whole, everything in existence waiting for the men of the Lord to proclaim who they are and to come back to their power and for the Lord to come and deliver them. Because that's when true life begins, man. As the brother quoted 2 Andrew 6 and 9, it says the... Uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that follow. The true life begins when this place goes down. In second address, uh, in the book of second address, tell you that the uh, but the uh, can you grab it really quick? It says, uh, but the but the day of doom should be the end of this time. I know, it's like I got so, seven, uh, yep, for second address, seven and forty. Well, I start for 40, 42. It says, He answered me and said. This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Right, right, this place sucks, man. You know, it, it's corrupted. Everything is against us. It's horrible here. They, this ain't what the glory, this, this ain't the glory right here, no. Mm -hmm. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Right, the day of, uh, the day of doom goes into the day of judgment, the day of sentence, the day of decree. This is going to be the end of this time, this age, this heaven, and this earth. It says in the beginning of the immortality for to come. Because that's when true life comes. When the Lord comes back, destroys this place, and saves his people. And we we, we are uh, made immortal, man. We don't die anymore. We're not going to battle with with, with, uh, with intemperances and uh, sin no more. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. We're in corruption is past. Yep. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Exactly, man. So wait, all the BS is gonna be cut. Ain't gonna be no more uh, lack of faith in the Most High. Everybody's gonna know Yahweh, I was shot. And they gonna all abide by His commandments perfectly. The Israelites, but you know the heathen, they gonna have to get it beat into them. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. It said, "No man shall teach his neighbor who who Yahweh is." He said, "Everybody should know me from the least to, to the greatest." greatest. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Isaiah. Let's. Yeah, I go back to Isaiah and finish this verse up. Isaiah chapter 19 again in verse 20. It says, And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts and the land of Egypt, for they shall cry unto the Lord because of the, of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And I was me, hey, y'all wish I was going to come back, man. He's yep. gonna save his people out of this out of this hellhole, man. Yep. Chiefly the elect, because two thirds of Israel, they don't want to get it. They want to get that nuke, man. They want to get destruction, man. They want to get the judgment of the heathen, man, because they want to be like heathens, man. Yep. Stay in the right lane. You know, because at the end of the day, well, this is a perfect time for that Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 16, and now I started 15. Well, 14. It says, therefore. Behold, the day is come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. The, the, the real Egypt, man. It says, But Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them. Yep, so it's going to be a second exodus, man. Mm -hmm. hey, this one is going to be so marvelous and glorious. Glor glorious man that they're not even gonna reference the first exodus the right but this one is gonna overshadow it man you know and hey what happened as it says in wisdom of solomon it was uh both the salvation of the lord's people and the destruction of the wicked man yep. so these people are finna get ready to get burnt down man you know can you grab malachi uh one i mean some like malachi four and start at one uh let me i'm gonna finish this out right quick it says and i will bring them again into their land that i gave unto their fathers so the Lord's gonna put us back into that land, man. And that ultimately cuts the so-called J. You know, I'm not even gonna say it, man. Because hey, the Lord is gonna have to bring us back into that land, man. Not us, not uh, of man. Ultimately, it gotta be, it gotta be the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That divine intervention. But this is Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, 
and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Yep, it says in Second Peter three that this uh this heaven and this earth is reserved unto fire. So hey, the Lord has come with that fire. Those ICBMs, that nuclear destruction is coming. That that late that laser uh that chariot fire is coming, man. For all you proud, all you people that didn't want to repent, all you people that mocked the prophets, all you people that didn't believe, hey, you you are soon to be destroyed mm -hmm. in a horrific manner. Yep, that, uh, second verse is eight. It talks about, hey, great misery is going to happen to, to the people because they have walked in uh, pride, man. You know, they walked in that great pride. Yep. And that's the beginning when one departed from his maker. And it says, it says, and the day that that cometh shall burn them up, save Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave neither neither root nor branch. Hey, it's all you're going to be cut off. It talks about that in Obadiah, man. You're, you're going to be completely through, man. And, and, and it goes to all the people who want to follow the heathen, man. Who want to be like the heathen. They're going to be smoked, man. But ultimately, it's all you're going to get it worse, man. Yep. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And that's the flip side, man. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, but it says, but unto you that fear my name. For those ones that fear Yahweh Bashim Mount Shai, that took heed to the calling, when the Lord called, hey, it said the Lord is gonna rise with Helen and with, with Helen in his rings to hell our broken hearts, to hell us of these curses, to hell us of all our infirmities, all of that, man. Mm -hmm. and, hey, that's what's coming. That's what's coming, man. Yep. That, uh, that Revelation 22, man. Yep. It talks about that. Um slack, y'all missed it. Verse three and ye shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in that day that i shall do this save you of hosts so hey it talks about how the lord is going to um, take vengeance upon him by the hands of his people israel man hey hey the hey, lord said the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom man mm -hmm. hey if you take something it ain't gonna be pretty man when you take something you don't just Hey, can I can I have that? You snatch it from somebody, man. And hey, it's, it said the world was created for our sakes, man. The Lord has given it back to who's right it is, man. The righteous, you know. But I got this uh, Zephaniah right quick. It's the book of Zephaniah, chapter three and verse eight. It says, "Therefore wait ye upon me, save Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations." That I may assemble the kingdoms to that to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the, hey, the Lord has come back, he's gonna smoke this place, man, because it's wicked. And he's gonna leave it an ensemble of how hey, just like he did with Sodom and Gomorrah, he's gonna smoke it. So you people who know, do not live like this, man. Yep. Do not be wicked. But it's gonna happen to you, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was in the net. Yeah, that's all the precepts I had. Kind. Yeah. Nah, I ain't got no more. Alright, man. Hey, with that, we like to give all praise, honor, glory, and to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhak Badash, double honor to the Apostle of Ills, a great meal, so on doing and teach will. And peace, bless, salutation, so I can lift the name Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and true sincerity, Shalom, and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.